picker. Um, it actually, you take your raw fleece, feed it in through this end down here. It has nails on it. Um, basically, just your hardware nails. Oh, I just start feeding through the bottom, and it will come out. And what this actually does is separate your fibers, cleans a lot of the debris out. This is a manual one. I do have electric one. And you just feed it in here and kind of pull it apart. And you have to do this usually two or three times before it's actually to the point where um, it's all smoothed out and you're satisfied with it to, um, to use it for your project. And you just you don't want that going in there too fast because it will jam. And then you kind of clean this off periodically during the whole process. The process is uh, quite lengthy. And then from this point, uh, after you get it, your uh, drum full, then you will peel it off and you will have a bat such as this, and then from this, I've done the drum carter, I would take it out and I would layer it in small sections, and depending on how thick you want it, obviously is how much you would pull off, and then you would kind of overlap those. And I would do the whole, the whole, um, the sheet. And I would lay that initially on bu bubble wrap, the small bubble wrap. Then the, you do three layers, and these you also kind of overlap each one, and you would do that all the way down. And then you would get do one more layer and you would do it in the opposite direction. And sometimes people kind of take a um, flashlight and kind of shine it down through to make sure they've got it evenly um, covered. Because if you don't have it even, then you're going to have some weak spots in your finished product. I would do that, layer this whole sheet, and then I would put um, another piece of bubble wrap on it. And with that, I would have my hot water ready uh, with soap. I would spray that on there and saturate that. And then I would put this, the other piece of bubble wrap on there. And then I would take the, the basic tool or pool noodle, and then I would just roll it up. Then I would band it um, with uh, a stocking, a uh, knee-high stocking. On each end. And then I would go through a, a rolling process, just like that, adding pressure all the way across the, um, the project. And I would do that a hundred times that way. Then I would check it and see how the felting process is going by unwrapping it and checking it. And then I would yet roll it a different way 100 times. And then I would go back and roll it yet a different way 100 times. That ensures that all your fleece is bonded or felted uh, together. And um, um, you'll have a nice... Um, uh, product that's not going to fall apart.